Hi guys, this is Marvin from ShopsadaPage.com and today we are going to do an unboxing and review of the new Techwear Haste XL RGB mousepad. So let's get into it. Welcome back guys. So I have here the packaging for the Techwear Haste XL RGB. It's a little bit beat up but I'm pretty sure the mousepad inside is fine. At the back, we have some details about the product, so the dimensions are 800 by 300 by 3 mm which I think is decent enough to fit any size of keyboard and mouse combo. We're going to talk about all the details listed here, but first, let's see what comes in the package. So opening the box, we can see here that the mouse pad is rolled, which is nice, so there shouldn't be any fold marks, and it will be easy for us to lay it flat on the surface. So here's the mouse pad itself and we have a detachable braided micro USB cable right here with a length of 2 meters so routing this at the back of your PC will not be an issue. Now let's take a closer look at the Techwear Haste XL RGB mouse pad. The control box is at the upper right corner as you can see here. It has a subtle Techwear branding at the center and then beside it is the control button with a clicky and tactile feedback. At its side we have the micro USB port for power and at the back we have some technical details about the product. So the specific model is FSD15, which is a soft cloth RGB mouse pad, and the power rating is 5 volts 100 milliampere. We can also see here the anti-slip rubber bottom to make the mouse pad stay in place. Now let's take a closer look at the quality of the stitching and the materials used for this mouse pad. Using a macro lens, we can confirm here that it indeed has edge stitching as you can see here using what it looks like a normal thread that holds the nylon thread which ultimately secures the RGB lining around the mousepad. This combination of materials for me was done to make sure that the RGB lining is secured properly without tearing the fabric and the anti-slip rubber base. I'm pretty sure you didn't expect this from a mousepad review, right? It's actually very interesting. We can also see here the close-up look of the anti-slip rubber bottom and the high-density fabric used for the mousepad surface itself. Moving on, let's set up the Techwear Haste XL RGB mousepad and check out the different lighting modes. The dimensions of this mousepad, as I've mentioned, is 800 by 300 by 3 mm As you will see here, it's still quite easy to manage the cable even if the control box is at the upper left corner. I would personally prefer if it was located at the center so that we can route the cable along with the cable of the keyboard. What do you think about this, guys? Alright, so I will just turn off the lights and let's check out the lighting modes. The first lighting mode is static color starting from red and then green, blue, purple, cyan, yellow, and white. The next lighting mode is breathing through different colors as you can see here. And then the next lighting mode is color cycle but the transition looks too aggressive for me. And then the next lighting mode is color spectrum with a much smoother transition. And that's about it for the lighting modes. No software, no remote, which is understandable for its price point. Now, as with any RGB peripherals or PC components, what's good about this is that you can configure it depending on your setup's color scheme. And having the flexibility of RGB make it even more convenient to match the colors compared to just buying peripherals with only one color on its design. RGB is not for everyone, but we can't deny that it's the trend right now and it looks like it's going to stay for a while. Now, RGB feature is one thing, but performance is another much more important factor. I've got the Techwear Haste XL mousepad for a while now, and for me personally, I have no problems with the traction. The smoothness of the surface is at just the right amount for me, with a little bit of control. It's sleepier than what I'm used to, but after a while playing with it and configuring my mouse settings, I was easily able to adjust. If there's one thing that I really need to point out that I don't like about this mousepad in terms of comfort, is probably the nylon stitching which is kinda sharp and is quite irritating on the forearm. But other than that, I think the Techwear Haste XL RGB is a very decent mousepad especially at its very competitive price point of around 900 pesos. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to check the full article link on the description below. Thank you to Techwear Philippines for sending this in. You can get this from their partner stores, link on the description below as well. I'll be reviewing the Techwear Vector Pro next so make sure to subscribe to keep updated. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.